it took me some years to really hone in on what it, I, what it was I was going to do once I retired in 2007. Mm -hmm. You know, what am I going to do that I'm just as passionate about that doesn't feel like work? Like boxing was hard work, but it didn't feel like, oh God, I got to go to work. I got to go to the gym. I got to go spar with these men to get ready for a fight. I loved it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so what was I going to do? And I had to really figure out where my passion was. And then I came to the conclusion that it was health well in wellness you know encouraging people to be the best version of themselves and how did i know this because i had been helping my friends helping my family members you know oh you want me to write you a meal plan you know they call me for advice you know you want to get healthier you want to get off your medication you want to lose some weight and i'd be writing out these meal plans and doing these things for free like it wasn't about making money so i said how can i turn this into a business for myself something that i love to do that i would do for free if i could Right. And that's when I kind of started the journey and built Layla Ali lifestyle brand. And I'm all about taking control and focusing on the things that I have power over. And we only have the power to change ourselves, not anyone else around us. Right. So I try to encourage people to really tap into that power and inspire them to take the best care of themselves possible. And I think that the three pillars for me are your health, your mindset and your purpose in life. Right. All of those things, you know, when you can get all those things in balance, those, those three things, then I see that as, as being a successful person. Running a business is not easy. It's a, there's going to be challenges. There's going to be hurdles that you have to overcome. You know, customers are going to wear you out sometimes, <laughs> you know, if you're dealing with customer service. Um, and you always have to have something to go back to, you know, your, your purpose, your passion, the reason why you're doing it, because otherwise, you know, you're going to get lost along the way. You know, you're going to want to quit sometimes. And then really just knowing who your customer is, what the messaging is, how you can serve them, you know, all of those things, because every decision that you make, whether it be the content that you're creating, you know, the images that you're creating, everything needs to speak to the customer and serve the customer, right? And at the same time, you don't want to get lost in just making it about them. You really want to serve your true purpose just because it really is about a mindset. And when you have that focus, determination, and discipline that it takes to reach your goals, you're going to reach them. So, you know, I think because I was an athlete and I've been able to actually do do it, you know, and it's, it's not easy. Like sometimes you come in there with a game plan and things don't go exactly as planned. You get some surprises, but you got to dig deep, you know, and that's why it's so important to really connect to why you're doing what you do and really always stay connected to that, to that passion. There's going to be a lot of mistakes and it's okay. Like every single business has made them. Um, you know, for me, I rem because um, I'm a recognizable person, you know, I have certain opportunities that come up, but every opportunity isn't always a great fit for your brand, you know, and you have to be really careful about what you align yourself with and you know always stay true to your own um like i said your own brand voice you know uh your own brand values and all of that so i have learned to really listen to my intuition and you know when someone presents something to me if it doesn't feel right then i listen you have to really step back and take a look from the outside in and just think about, you know, what is it that you would want to see, you know? And yeah. that's, those are the things that I um, have applied to my business. So yeah, email campaigns, of course, my use of social media, and then just really um, building my list is really important. Always thinking of ways to keep that list growing. Um, and I've also really started to think about ways that I can um, engage in using affiliates, um, creating an mm -hmm. affiliate program so that you're not the only one just having to post about your business. You have people who are also sharing about your, your, your business and that takes time to build, but um, that's something that I'm, I'm incorporating as well. I'm the type of person, like I never want to have to depend on any one platform, right? You got to have more than one iron in the fire. Right. So a lot of people think, you know, oh, you can just run your business on Instagram. No, you don't want to. What if Instagram shut down? Your business is going to shut down. You don't want to just, you know, that, that, that's not empower, a way to empower yourself or your business. You know, it's about having balance. So, yeah, that um, really has been a change for me just in general. But I really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying having the extra time um, to, to get creative, get innovative, figure out new ways that I can serve my customer um, from here on out all of the services that constant contact is offering 
Um, it really, you know, that kind of just was envision of what I'm about to say, you know, email campaigns, you know, you know, more education for, for customers is something that has been really helpful for me because, you know, I, when I'm, when I was really busy, I was thinking about sales more, you know, and then I had to really go back to what is my brand? What does it really stand for? What is the messaging that I want to give my customer? I want to educate my customer. I want to empower my customer, give them tools and tips that can really serve them, not just always be selling them something. So you really want to focus on creating value. First of all, it's all about the list. You know, yes. anybody who is in this business, uh, I mean, in business for themselves has been online already knows that um, because, you know, anytime you've talked to other powerhouse, you know, uh, companies, it's like, well, how big is your list? How many people do you have on your list? That's what they want to know, right? Um, it's a, it's a direct way to contact your customer. I like to give a free offer, um, you know, information, like I said, tools, tips that can help the customer really show them value, you know, offer exclusive deals. Um, a reason why you want to sign up to be on my VIP is because my VIP list is because I'm going to, if I'm going to do a sale or if I'm going to have a limited time offer, or if there's only a certain amount of units, or ex, you know, et cetera, I'm going to send it to my list first before I, tell everybody else on social media so they're going to have direct access offer them information that may everyone else may not get or be privy to there's always going to be other offers that you can you can give to add value so um, so many ways to build a list but you definitely have to be intentional and strategic because we're inundated with so much i think the easier you make it you know to really guide them to where you want them to go the better and it also just gives you versatility i have so many products like lesson to self, don't have so many props and no, I'm just joking, but I could be talking about, you know, um, skincare one day, spice blends another day, nutrition, overall, um, just have living a healthy lifestyle <clears throat> and thinking of ways to be creative and, and really create email campaigns is what works for me as well. When you ask, you know, what do I see converting? Anytime we launch an email campaign, I see sales come through. So, and of course, making sure that, you know, you're being strategic and intentional about the messaging that's within the campaign. And then, you know, doing ads, retargeting customers that might've come to your page before and didn't actually buy, you know, cause again, we, we have a short tension span. Sometimes people put things in their cart and just don't check out for whatever reason. So, you know, you really have to analyze and that's what's great about, um, you know, some of the tools that you offer at Constant Contact to really be able to see what's going on in the back end and seeing what's work, what works and what doesn't. And sometimes, you know, it could just be about sending an email on a different day or a different time or, you know, and just trying to figure, figure that out. And to me, it's fun. It's fun. It's something that all businesses have had to do whether they're, um, you know, even the big successful businesses, you know, once you get a strategy in place, you know, it's something that will work for you for years to come. Growing your email list, definitely, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, we're specifically talking about business online. We see how important it is to be online. If you never knew before, um, your list is your lifeline. You know, it's something that, um, you know, you have control over in terms of reaching your customer. I think that even if you have a small list, as long as they're engaged, that list will grow. Um, my list, for example, I have thousands of people on my list, but people sign up to my list because they're a boxing fan or because they just were a fan of my father's or whatever. They're not necessarily wanting to buy something from me. So if you can create a great foundation um, you know, for your customer and give them reasons to join your list, your list will grow. The more we learn about our customer, the better we can connect and serve the customer and be authentic. You know, I've always been authentic. Um, that comes to me naturally. Sometimes I overshare, <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I just want to just connect all of these things with my brand values, you know, my purpose and really, you know, not always just thinking about me, me, me. It's like, what does my customer need now? What challenges are they facing now? Um, you know, and how can I connect with them by reminding them that we're all in this together? And sometimes, you know, you, you'll have to give discounts. You'll have to, you know, show them even more for me, you know, because I have a health and wellness brand. Like now more than ever, you know, you need to be upgrading your health and your immune system and all these different things. So, again, it just really depends on your brand. But I think as long as you um, we come out of this knowing 
that we need to never take you know our business for granted stay creative and innovative and continue learning about your customer because the messaging is so important you know really getting that messaging on point is what's going to make or break a sale or, or gaining a new uh, customer there has to be a call to action a lot most of the time not every single time but it's like like you said what is the call to action i don't want you just to like my picture i want you to click the link, you know, and come to my page and learn more. So again, using that as a way to kind of broadcast what it is that you're offering or invite people um, to, you know, your website or whatever it is in, in that way as well. So make sure that there's a reason and a purpose behind every post. As long as, you know, you can feel good about what it is that you're posting, it's a good representative of you and your business, then to me, mm -hmm. it, it belong on both page, you know, page, pages, because I can have people who follow me on Facebook and on Instagram, and they're going to see it twice or, yeah. you know, not see something at all. So for me, you know, it, it just works to post on both. So, gotcha. but it, you really have to take into consideration what's best for your business. I think that for me, I've learned to never take my audience, my customer, my business for granted um, and never get comfortable, never get too comfortable. Um, because things are always going to change. You're always going to need to, you know, find new customers. You're always going to find new ways to connect with your, with your customer, with your audience. Um, and that's something that <clears throat> has been consistent leading up until now. And even, even now we're all in this together. We really are. And, you know, this too shall pass, right. Mm -hmm. Um, depending on your mindset and what, um, circumstances you're facing right now. Because I want to be sensitive to, um, you know, some of the things that people are going through right now. Um, you got businesses that were not set up online and they're feeling overwhelmed because they have to learn so much. I feel like they have so much catching up to do. Um, but I just want to remind them that, you know, you and your business are going to be stronger after facing these challenges. And all of the information is there. All of the tools are there. It's just about really you know, the same way you started your business in the first place um, is putting a plan in place, right? And just making sure that whatever it is you're offering is a quality product that you can feel confident in and really making sure that you know um, exactly who you're trying to serve and what problem is going to help them solve. Know what you're excited about sharing and offering, right? Um, you know, make sure it represents who you are and what you stand for. That's the first thing, you know, before anything else is, is that, you know, again, it goes back to that whole why, what you're offering, knowing your brand and knowing why people should want to engage with you and, and purchase something from you. Then you really have to know who your customer is, right? Who is your ideal customer? Um, that way you'll know the best way to market to them. Because again, we're telling you, oh, set up an email campaign, do this and do that and do that. What is that email campaign going to say, you know, and in order to come to the conclusions, right, you have to know what your customer needs to hear, right? And then you have to create it in a certain tone and voice and all those things. So you want to make sure you set that foundation up, know who your ideal customer is. And then I, I, I think that every brand should have a brand guide. Right. This is all the work that needs to be done, you know, in, in advance. And you can go look up what that is and how to build one. But it really is about, you know, not just your logo, your colors, your fonts, you know, just your overall messaging, um, you know, your values as a brand so that all of that can be consistent. So as your business scales up, as it grows, anyone that you hire or that you work with or that you partner with, you can share that with them and they'll know so that they're, that anything they create for you will be consistent. Anyone can have a great idea. Not everyone has the guts or the grit to make it happen. But you do. And now you've got to figure out how to get the world as excited about your idea as you are. But you don't have time to make sense of it all. At Constant Contact, that's what we do. And it's why we're expanding, big time, into a full-service online platform for all things marketing. Need an awesome-looking website with e-commerce built in? Now, we've got a tool for that. Trying to find new customers? We've got a tool for that, too. We'll help you grow your audience, reach your social media goals, and a whole lot more. And we've still got the best email marketing tool out there. That'll never change. 
Plus, unlike other companies who leave you to figure it out on your own, we've got hundreds of marketing advisors who are just a call or chat away to help when you get stuck. And every day, our team is working hard to add more features and tools to help your ideas succeed. With Constant Contact, you've got a game plan because you've got what it takes. You've got this. You've got us.